Hi everyone, today let us discuss the design considerations to host your web application or web services on on-premises or on cloud. So here are the minimum considerations I have listed down. Uh, scaling to meet the high demand. So your application may have sometimes uh, high demand. So you need to anticipate what would be the uh, highest trophy and need to be ready with your scaling strategy. Disaster recovery. We never know like uh, what happens in the region where your applications are hosted. So you should also be ready with a disaster recovery strategy. Next one is high availability. So you should be ready for the uh, highly available application. In case if your application is sometimes down and up, your customers may not really be interested to come back onto your website. So you should be always the uh, you should always take care of your high availability of the application. Load balancing. If you are hosting 10 different servers and you need to balance your load well in between the servers, you, you cannot send all your traffic to your particular server. Rather, you can just balance your load between the servers so that you know the performance of your web request and responses will fault tolerance. Fault tolerance uh, is maybe because of uh, power failure or operating system uh, failure or some other technical problems your system may get failed so you need to make your servers fault tolerant uh, by using the various approaches example by building the replicas of the same server in the other region or in the same region and uh, getting up those servers whenever the the main server is down so you can also be ready uh, with the fault tolerance strategy security so you should be ready uh, with uh, enough walls built around your servers so that uh, no attacks can harm your archival. So you should have a, a archival strategy in place based on your business requirement, whether you want to archive your uh, piled up data uh, every six months or one year to the cold stories. I have listed on few of the components from AWS Azure and GCP. The first section is uh, to host your website serverless. Uh, Elastic uh, Beanstack is from AWS to host your website serverless. Uh, App Services from Azure, App Engine is from the GCP. So these three uh, uh, different components will help you to uh, host your application uh, with less maintenance in terms of the disaster recovery, high availability, fault tolerance, uh, uh, security up to some uh, some level will be taken care by this components. You can choose either one based on your business requirement. Next one is load balancer. So every cloud providers uh, provide their own uh, uh, type of load balancers. So Azure provides a load balancer as part of the app gateway. Azure, uh, AWS provides elastic load balancer, whereas uh, GCP provides cloud load balancer. So you can uh, configure between the uh, EC2 instances or VM instances. Uh, or you can also configure these uh, between the app services. So you have to uh, do a lot of study on this before you configure what type of load balancer you require for your requirement. Uh, the next one is like security. Security is uh, one of the uh, important aspect when you are hosting the application. Uh, every cloud provider has their own components to uh, tighten your security levels. AWS provides uh, WAF that is web application firewall and AWS Shield to, pro uh, to protect from the DDoS attacks. Similarly, Azure has a WAF and a DDoS protection, Azure Data protection. Uh, GCP provides cloud armor for both uh, uh, WAF and as well as the DDoS uh, attacks. The next one is archival. If you want to archive your data, so you need to, you need less expensive model or less expensive storage to store your all data. So uh, you can use S3 Glacier, which is less expensive than the regular storage, to store your archival archive data. Similarly, Azure provides archival blob storage and uh, GCP provides archival storage. So you can choose based on your requirements. That's it for today. Thanks for everyone for your patience. I'll come up with more topics on um, uh, individual components.